Hi, Rich Leiter here, self-published author of Literary Fiction, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Thoughts on Writing. Okay, um, you know, I started this channel, I wrote this book, it took me 20 years to write this thing. Uh, I wrote it very carefully. It's a novel uh, called Leaving Home. It was a labor of love. And, um, you know, I thought that after I wrote it, you know, learn how to, how to publish it myself, what a pain in the neck that was. I thought I would be real slick and I would uh, start my own YouTube channel to try to plug it, you know? I mean, I wasn't going to just uh, plug it. I was going to try to, you know, give give the viewers, you know, you know, I mean, podcasts that I was really interested in, something of value of, uh, that that, uh, that had content. Um, and I would intersperse it with some... Uh, you know, sections from my from my work, um, let them get a feel for it. But, um, you know something, and then I would do book reviews and so on, and I, you know, I've done a little bit of everything. But uh, I guess right now, I'm, I'm just not feeling it for, uh, for book reviews, and I'm not feeling it for um, talking about my novel. I'm feeling it right now for showing some of my paintings. Uh, for some reason, um, that sort of is what gets me, you know? I mean, I said I would talk about, I said in the end of one of my books that I would, you know, probably set up a YouTube channel and talk about culture, you know. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing. It's, I guess it's a little bit of everything, you know. I'm talking about, uh, I don't know, I'm talking about uh, paintings, about art, uh, about book reviews, uh, my own stuff, uh, a little bit of everything. So anyway, um, what a long preamble, huh? Um, this this podcast is about a painting I painted. It's called uh, uh, Soutine as a Failed Bellhop. Um, I've always loved the work of Soutine, just like I've loved it of Modigliani. Um, if uh, Modigliani is the is the Apollonian half of the of the pair, uh, then Soutine is the Dionysian. The two were very very uh, thick thick as thieves' pals back in. Uh, uh, in Montparnasse. Um, and I just want to say, you know, the thing about Soutine is even though I, you know, well, a couple of things. First of all, Soutine, I'll get to the painting in a second. The thing about Soutine is that everything he paints, whether it's a portrait, a self-portrait, a landscape, a still life, it's all a self-portrait of him. It's all the same stuff. It's all his own inner turmoil. Uh, and the second thing, even though I love his colors, his vibrancy, and just like everybody else does, you know, uh, the way he slashes the canvas with his brush strokes, um, you know, he's not the greatest painter if you want to learn how to paint anatomy. Um, he's not at all anatomically correct. You're not going to find out how to paint hands by studying Soutine. But notwithstanding, um, I still love him. So without further ado, oh, and whether, and we, okay, well, without further ado, here is the painting. Um, bear with me for one second. Okay, let's get it for you. Let's get it real good. There it is. There's my, um, it's, it's, it's my own, um, in my head, I made it up. I just wanted to do Soutine in Soutine style. And it's called Soutine as a Failed Bellhop. You know, Soutine was was so tormented, so neurotic. You know, and he, he painted all of these bellhops. Uh, and I thought it would be a nice idea to paint him as a bellhop that couldn't even cut it as a bellhop. I mean, um, his hat, the bellhop hat, is actually uh, from another painting. I cut it up to look like a hat and I pasted it on there. Um, and um, he, he kind of looks like a big overgrown monkey <laughs> or uh, he, he just looks like he can't really cut it in life you know um and to the to the uh, right of him there's like this uh i don't know curvy thing there that i also pasted on like a collage from another painting um and um uh, you know, the, the funny thing about this painting is that when I did it, the first version I did of it, I painted his whole outfit in one red called Pyro Red, which is my favorite red. And when I did that, the redness of it, ironically, just didn't come out very much. 
It was okay, but there was nothing leaping out at you. I mean, when you look at Soutine's paintings, uh, these bellhops and and um, these the red in his paintings just just leaps out at you, right? I think it was his favorite color too. I think he used cadmium red light. Um, but um, so what I did was just on an impulse. Nobody told me about it. I decided to intersperse on his uniform the um, the pyro red with some naphthol red light which is kind of an approximation to a cadmium red light and when i did that when i mixed the pyro with the naphthol crimson light for some magical reason um it brought the redness out to life i guess the subtle contrast between the two i can't explain it really why that happened um so that's it i i think that the face is is really really a very soutine esque you know it's got the classic uh, flush uh the uh um, um eastern european flush of the ch of the cheeks there um the eyes are good those thick ungainly lips um uh and also the collar the collar is actually not from a bellhop you know i think um I think Modigliani painted a picture of him in a, in a, in a workman's outfit or, or Soutine did a self-portrait in a workman's outfit and the collar is, is something like that. So, uh, you know, I've seen, I, I look for pictures of, of uh, other, other pe people on the internet who have painted uh, Soutine. And um, let me see if I can get a little bit closer for you. Yeah, let me try to get it closer. Yeah. I've looked for other people. Isn't that red beautiful on his on his uniform? Um, I've looked for other other painters who have tried to do what I just did. And I, I just found two of them. And they were both... I, I didn't like them at all. One guy tried to do a, a, uh, a recreation of his portrait of Madame de Castang. You know, it's in the Metropolitan. Uh, with the background is all kind of a, a, a blue or Prussian blue and she has this long long uh, flowing red dress um, and, and and it just didn't look like a soutine he just he just kind of went off on his own tangent and did something else with it um, it just didn't look anything like soutine at all um, then there was another guy who did a copy of soutine self-portrait in front of an easel and uh, this self-portrait he put the guy put his own face in instead of Soutine. I mean, you know, I mean, isn't there always one in the bunch that will do something like that? They'll take a picture of the Mona Lisa and they'll put their own face in or something, or put Marilyn Monroe or something, something really crazy like that. So that didn't seem to take a lot of imagination, and it certainly didn't look like Soutine after he did that. And I haven't really found anybody else on the internet who's who's done this. So I wanted to show it to you, and I hope you like it. I like it. Thanks very much.